Hello everyone, Ronnie J here from Internet Radio Station. Uh, in a previous video, I showed you how to mark a song to have an intro voiceover played on it. Uh, what follows is a much better way. Uh, as you know, uh, marking a song is a very time intensive task. So let's say if you have 3,000 songs in your uh, music library and you want to tag each one of those to have a intro voiceover played on them, uh, that could take you a very long time. So what I'm about to show you is an easier way where you can automate the process where let's say if you want uh, a intro voiceover to be played on your songs every 15 minutes. Uh, for example, a sample voiceover could be something like, uh, such as, this is Ronnie J, and you're listening to the smoothest jazz radio station on the planet, and you want that to be superimposed on the song that is currently playing. So your voice, along with that song, will be played at the same time. Uh, your voice will be a little bit louder than the song, and when you're finished playing, then the song will fade up. And so it's a very nice way to make your station appear to be very uh, professional. And all that is being done by a PAL script. So let me show you how to do it. The first thing that you want to do is uh, record some voice intros, like I just demonstrated. You, you want to have as many as you can muster. You might have four, five, 10, 20, 50 voiceovers, intro voiceovers. So the first thing you want to do is come down here to your desktop A, assuming you have your Santa Broadcaster set up like mine. Come down under Playlist, and let's go under the content section. So let's assume you go here and it's like that. So we'll double click on your content icon there and we're going to create within the station ID category another category called intro voiceovers. So right click on that and select new and type in intro voiceovers. This can be anything that you like but this is what I named mine. And let's import some voice intros in here. And I've already re recorded a few. So I'm going to select that and come down here and select Add Directory. And I'm going to navigate to the location where I know I have my voiceovers. And I place those in my music folder right here. Intro voiceovers. And there they are. I have one, two, three, four here. And if I want to listen to one of them, I can just right click on it and select Song Info. Go up to Settings and click play. Okay, so there's a, a voiceover. Here's another one. Just to give you an idea. Right click, song info, settings, and then play. Here's another hot smooth jazz request. Let's try this one. Right click, song info, settings, and play. Hi, I'm Ronnie J. You're listening to the smoothest jazz radio station on the planet. Here's more smooth jazz right here. Okay, so that's uh, one that I recorded. Now, what I normally do on all of these, and you should too, is go to each one, right click, song info, settings, and make sure that this is set to air. And this is moved all up to the top, this slider. And make sure that the gap killer is set to disabled. Let's do all of them. Set the top. Gap killer set to disabled. Okay. Right click. Song info. Settings. Slider at the top. This is set to air. Gap killer disabled. And lastly, right click. Song info. Settings. Slider to the top. This is set to air. The app killer is set to disabled and then OK. So you're all set here. The next step is to go ahead and uh, set the PAL script. So I'm going to go to my desktop C and I'm going to go to the PAL script window here. And I'm already running the top of the hour PAL script as you recall from the previous video. Click on the plus icon, tick on the automatically start script button. And then click on the folder icon and we will navigate to your PAL script folder. And you're looking for a PAL script called Aux Overlay Intro PAL. Select that and click open. And you will find these PAL scripts on my website. And click OK. So there is the PAL script. Double click on that. At the very top, you want to make sure that this line of code right here that says liners underscore category equal 
that what's in between these two quotation marks here matches the category name that you gave. So mine right here says intro voiceovers. And you can double check it and make sure that yours right here that you created says the exact same thing. If it doesn't, it will not work. So again, make sure that this right here matches the category that you created and it does. And so we're basically all set and all we have to do now is start that PAL script. So you'll right click on it and select start or you can highlight it and then click this button here. And that starts it up. It says running. And notice over here in aux1 that it placed one of the IDs that I created. Let's go here to um, desktop A. And it placed this one right here into aux1. And so it's waiting. It's waiting for one track to play. So in other words, when this track right here that's in the queue starts playing, and then when it finishes playing, then that PAL script will execute and run what's in aux1. It'll run that voiceover. And I'll demonstrate that for you in a few moments here. Then, once that plays, then it's going to wait for another 15 minutes because the way this script is set up it runs a voiceover every 15 minutes so let me show you that let's double click on that PAL script let's find the line of code here let's go up right up here at the very top so every 15 minutes or so like I said here wait at least 15 minutes before doing it again that's what it's going to say here let me move this over so you can see it see here so this PAL script will do a voiceover every 15 minutes. It's automated. There's nothing you have to do. So it will benefit you to have, you know, more than one, more than four uh, voiceovers in here so that your listeners will be hearing a different voiceover on uh, the songs every 15 minutes. All right. So right now I have the script started. So let me go to my desktop A and I'm going to load a song into the queue by playing let me bring the sound down a little bit all right so right now what's in deck a is playing and i'm going to move this up i'm going to fade it out and when i fade it out then this pal script is going to run right here like i said it's waiting for one track to play so this is our one track that's playing in deck A. So let's advance it. I don't know if you, I don't know if you heard that, but it, it played. The voiceover came in. I had the volume down too low, so you probably couldn't hear it. So right now, if I go back to desktop C, we'll see here that that PAL script right here is waiting for another 15 minutes see it's ticking down so it's saying here that at about 8 29 which is about 15 minutes from now it's going to play the next voiceover it's going to load it up in here in aux1 and then play it so that's how you would use a pal script to set up your intro voiceovers on your songs every 15 minutes now i should also mention that this script is modifiable let me reduce this volume here. If you go back into desktop C, we double click on this file script. You can change uh, the time. And right now I have it set for 15 minutes, but you can go up here and change this here to say 30. And so every 30 minutes, then a voiceover will play. But make sure that when you make a change here, that you go up here and do a file and save. Okay. So that's it. This is Ronnie J. Thank you for listening.